So I guess it's time to finally head out to Somerset. That's down here. I've been there before only because, uh, you know, going and checking out vendors and stuff. But I believe... Well, let's, let's do this. We'll open Zone Guide. And we'll continue Zone Story. We'll do it that way. Yeah, that's what I thought. So this is the way shrine we have to go to to start the quest. So we'll go there and see what happens in terms of the quest line. Pretty excited. I probably should have went home first. I kind of want to change um, the color for Bastion's uh, outfit. He's red right now. Those monsters! I'm getting out of here. The island sprung a leak. Run! I just sprung a leak. Just kidding. First, the queen <clears throat> issues a decree that changes the status of Somerset from an isolated paradise into a tourist attraction. Now, monsters, sea creatures, I've never seen anything like them. Well, I say let the cat fight them. Better him than me. The cat? A Khajiit, you mean? Uh, monsters? Cat? Slow down. Tell me what's happened. Suddenly <clears throat> the ground opened, spewing oh, water and strange creatures. They attacked us. Luckily, one of the newcomers, a Khajiit, leaped in and drove them back. Called himself Razumdar. He could probably use some help if you're so inclined. Cool. I guess it's the first time we're actually going to meet Razumdar officially. <clears throat> the Queen's Decree. Where are we going exactly? We are going literally down the road. I don't even need to get on my horse, but it's okay. Talk to Razumdar. He should be around here somewhere. That found. What are these? <coughs> he did all this by himself. Have you ever seen such creatures? No. Raz has not. Probably neither have you. You are a newcomer, yes? New to this island of high elves? This one has an eye for such things, and you look capable. So can Raz interest you in some? Cloak and dagger work? Cloak and dagger work? Sounds ominous. Ominous? No, nothing of this sort. Well, maybe a little of the sort. Depends on how things develop. Raz has come to Somerset at the behest of Queen Irene to make sure her decree regarding the opening of the island proceeds as she directed. Okay, so how can I help? Ask some questions, determine the mood in Shimmerin, and see how the newcomers are faring. Rumors have reached the Queen, and she is concerned. So Razumdar comes to see what is happening and fights strange creatures. Now Raz is concerned as well. Uh, rightly so, I suppose. Uh, I'll ask some questions around the city. While you ask <coughs> questions around the city, Raz can take care of some other business. It may or may not involve scratching and clawing. Let's meet near the entrance to Shimmerine when you have something to report. Shimmerine. Okay, well let's ask some questions now. Uh, first things first though, I do have a little bit of a rasp in my throat right now, like a little, uh... Uh, like it's bothering me a little bit. So if I'm coughing a lot, I apologize ahead of time. Uh, so there is that. Uh, but anyways, anything I should know about Shimmerine before I head out? Hmm. Raz knows very little about city ordinances or how to tell the difference between mead and ale, so let's avoid those <clears throat> topics, yes? Otherwise, this one knows all about the Queen's decree and the initial reaction of the nobles and kin lady. Kin lady, you say? Okay. So, what about the kin lady and the nobles? <coughs> kin lady Avenise has made her views on the Queen's decree quite clear. She calls it unreasonable, dangerous. A few of the city's nobles have sided with the king lady, as has the new old dark at the monastery. My queen permits discussion, to a point. So, the king lady opposes the queen's decree. She has spoken against it. Now Raz needs to know how far she will go to defy the will of the queen. Does she crumble but welcome the newcomers, or is she using every option at her disposal to block their arrival? Raz will find out with your help. I mean, that's a fair assumption. You know, if someone disagree with you, disagrees with you, it's in in something as large as this. It is right to assume 
that there could be something potentially under the surface, right? Uh, but in these kinds of situations, it's best that we kind of go under the radar as well so that we don't rustle any feathers or anything. But anyways, uh, tell me about the Queen's Decree. Queen Irene, her most excellent leader of the Aldmeri Dominion, has issued a decree opening the once forbidden land of Somerset to traders, visitors, and immigrants of all races. Controversial, yes, but part of her plan for the Dominion's future. Okay. And this is a problem? <sighs> for some. High elves talk of perfection, but they are a uh, complicated people. Various individuals in Somerset take issue with their queen, with change of any sort, actually. The king lady, for example. Some nobles. Makes my job complicated. Wait, who are you again? Raz is wounded to the core. Forgotten <laughs> already. Sorry. This one usually leaves a better impression. You have. I am Raz Umdar. Queen Irene's eye and Dark Lantern agent extraordinaire. But that is a secret between you and me. To everyone else, this one is simply Raz. Okay, Raz. Um. Goodbye. Time to go under the cloak and dagger, I suppose. How far are we going this time? Literally again, right here. I need to stop getting on my horse because it's kind of wasting. Uh oh. I don't know. I don't know what just happened. All right. Yeah. Beep, beep, uh, yeah. Talk to Olin Will. Is that you? No, that's a level three. Are you? You can't talk. And now you're dead. Go oh, found him. Your own patch of beach. <clears throat> oh, it's a girl. You'd understand the concept, but the path to Alaxon requires dedication and complete concentration. I must find the perfect shells, or my pigments will be substandard. And do you know what that will do to my art? Exactly. Uh, what's with the path of Axon? Uh, Alaxon? An ultimate concept practiced widely <coughs> in the Somerset. Axon <coughs> is the state of perfection that every high elf strives for. The path to Alaxon represents the approach we take to achieve that state. Now, why have you interrupted my work? Um, I heard you made some complaints in, shi in Shimmering. I'd like to hear about that. I believe in caution as much as the next High Elf, but sometimes the rules get in the way of common sense. My apprentice lived here for more than a year. Good help is so hard to find, especially among the newcomers. And she was adept at making dyes. Okay, so what happened to your apprentice? They took her away, said they had to scrutinize her qualifications, test her knowledge of culture and etiquette. But I haven't seen her since. My work suffers, so of course I complained to the monks. Now I have to gather my own shells. I mean, I understand why she's complaining. If they just took away her assistant... Just so that they could scrutinize her quali qualifications and yet they've never brought her back or ever returned. I mean, that's some... That's... She has every right for to, to show some concern, you know? Uh, did the monks offer any explanation as to where uh, she was or where she when she'd return? They told me I could fill out some forms and appeal to the kin lady. But who has time for such bureaucracy? And for a wood elf? said too much. I have work to do, and all this aggravation has diverted my path to Alaxon. This sounds a little, uh... racist, almost. <laughs> like, borderline. It's kind of like she's tiptoeing around that that border, you know? And I think that's why she even caught that. She said, that's I said too much. But okay, whatever. I digress. I'll let you get back to your work, then. Okay, so I... requires constant vigilance, so back to it. Okay, whatever, lady. But I don't really put it past them. She is a high elf. High elves do act that way in general. So maybe she's just not racist. Maybe it's just the way she is. You know? Everyone who's not a high elf is below them. Which I guess could be... Looked at in that way, but... 
I don't know. High elves act like their shit don't stink. <laughs> so to speak. Um. Okay, right here. There's a bag, and there's also a Sigic Order. A Sigic Portal over there. Oh my god, I'm not gonna read this. You guys can read this. You guys can push pause and this, and I'm going into combat. <coughs> I love how slow you take out your weapon when it's holstered and you're in the middle of combat and your weapon is just super slow to come out I should have emptied my bags to be honest hey I got a lead I don't know what that is but okay Vanis the sash to nothing important I don't think I've already gotten every antiquity anyways except for like two um or every mythic I should say except for like two so We'll just leave. Dude, Indrix are so beautiful. They're like gorgeous creatures, dude, I swear. I kind of low-key wish they were real. Where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, I'm going the right way. It's around here somewhere. Talk to Ra Newell. Hey, I remember being here. Oh, this is where we meet those people with the masks, isn't it? I was once like you. Okay. A newcomer uh -huh. in the warehouse district. Unusual. But how can I help you today, my friend? Well, actually, I was wondering uh, how your name ended up in the Divine Prosecution's observations log. The Divine? Who told you that? If a Justicier sent you to try and trick me into confessing... No, no. The High Elves would never send a newcomer to perform such a task. But I admit it. I made my thoughts known. Okay, and what are those thoughts, if you don't mind me asking? I arranged to bring my cousin here to work with me. The ship arrived, but all the newcomers were carted away. For questioning, they said. I complained to the kin lady and anyone else who would listen. And what has it gotten me? Nothing! Wait, you're not a high elf, though. Have you lived in Somerset very long? Oh, my family has been here for generations and generations. Before the Queen's decree, outsiders might have been rare, but we were not unheard of. Our business has grown and gets better every day. That's why I sent for my cousin. We need the help. Okay. Do you like living in Somerset? Somerset is a rare and beautiful <coughs> jewel in the Abitian Sea. That's I true. I love it here. The High Elves treat us like children, but they have never been hostile. Queen's decree has stirred the waters, though. I bet. I fear it will get worse before it gets better. Don't worry. That's why I'm here, my friend. I'll see what I could do. So now we gotta go talk to Razum Dar, dude. Okay, so at least we know that. Oh, this place is gorgeous. My God. Okay, but anyways, at least we know that outsiders or newcomers or people that are not from Somerset originally aren't unheard of. I mean, Razum Dar isn't a high elf, you know. Then we had a red guard just then. It's interesting though. I don't know. People are just getting taken left and right. I wonder why. Well, I mean, I think I know why, but well, I've got a good idea as to why, but we'll see. Why have you closed the monastery? Good people, I hear your concerns. But well, the workers I hired, they were aboard the ship from Rivenspire. The kin lady and I, we have only your best interests in mind. Every guest must be sequestered while we ascertain their suitability for Ultima society. To your dark's right, <clears throat> lock up the newcomers. Send the newcomers back where they came from. We don't want them here. These people are ridiculous. Such anger. Raz never expected to hear such words from the Queen's loyal subjects. The sentiment isn't universal, but enough feel this way for Raz to be concerned. Did you learn anything interesting from the people I sent you to talk to? As a matter of fact, I did. Uh, the artist's assistant and the Red Guard's cousin both have been sub uh, sequestered. Sequestered? Hmm. Just a different word for imprisoned, yes. Great. Ranul's cousin just arrived, but Old Newell's assistant has lived on Somerset since long before the Queen ever issued her decree. What about mm. the lizard? 
What did Zog Solza have to say? I can't say that word, dude. I'm not even gonna try. Or that name. Uh, was dead by the time I reached him. I found this letter, uh, in his pack, though. Man, now I wish I read it. <coughs> Why would the Aldar gather up newcomers and non-high elf residents alike and send them to the monastery? Does the king lady condone this behavior? Raz's head itches, and not in a good way. Our course is clear, Five Claw. We must go to the monastery. Why does he call me Five Claw? If he also has five claws. Interesting. All right. I'll help you investigate the monastery. Raz admires your enthusiasm. But this one needs you to enter the monastery on your own. Raz has other fish to catch. This one will help you get past the sentry, though. When you notice that the sentry is distracted, just sleep quietly inside. So I'm going under the cloak and dagger and being investigative and stuff like that, being a little detective, if you will. And he's going fishing. I got it. I got it. You, you're you lazy. You're lazy, bro. That's all it is. Got it. Got it, Razumdar. Still love you, though, bro. Shut up, Bastion. God, dude, we're so close. As of the recording of this video, man, we're... When does, when does uh, High Isle come out? The first part of June, right? You there. I have a damn it, why won't this work? Did you see a golden knight? I have no idea what that was, and I'm not sure I want to know. That was pretty interesting. I did see a golden Wait. Oh, he's distracting him. I don't recall any you say I won some gold? Don't you remember? Raj always pays his debts, and he always buys the drinks. Gold and <laughs> drinks? Well, my relief should be along soon, so why not? Razumdar's a Lannister, since he always pays his debts. Dude, I can't wait for the new companions, man. Both Miri and Bastion are absolutely maxed out. Every weapon, every armor... Every guild, everything. They're completely maxed out. I have nothing left. Rapport, everything. So, I can't wait to grind out some new companions. Uh, wood elves, male, uh, four males, three females, all claim to be Dominion citizens. One says she lived in Somerset for more than a year, moved to uh, preparations. Oh, they moved them to preparation cells. Khajiit, seven males, nine females, all claim to be Dominion citizens. Send half to the preparation cells, the other half to holding cells. Argonians, four. Gender inconclusive. Who could tell with muck swimmers? Well, that's not racist at all, but okay. Uh, move to preparation cells for immediate siphoning. Siphoning? <clears throat> Bretons, one male, two female, claim to be traitors from Wayrest. Or did they say Daggerfall? Does it even matter? Why am I writing this down? What does the new Aldrich plan to do with this information? Place in holding cells. <coughs> okay. Red guards. Two males, four females. All arrived on a ship from Hammerfell. One says she was sent for, uh, for by Ra... That person, the traitor. Sent half to the holding cell, the other half to the preparation. Nords, one male, claims to be part of something called the Nord Cultural Exchange, sent to holding cell? I'm not sure what I just read. <coughs> I hate this writing. How far? Okay, it's just two pages. Should I read this? It is making my throat a little scratchy. Uh, my dear Aldrich Till... Kalar. Kalar? Kalar? I sure, why not? I'm glad you're su you suggested transferring our beloved monastery. I was happy to, to... I can't read this writing. I don't know why. You guys can go ahead and read it. Go ahead and push pause. And we'll call it... We'll call it a day with that. Because I cannot read... 
that writing for some reason. It's just it's not compatible with my eyesight. And I'm 99 years old, so. Oh, not now, please. Your spiritual well-being can wait until after my nap. <laughs> yes, holy father. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Uh, where can I find the people that have been sequestered? <clears throat> You'll have to ask one of the monks that the new Aldoc brought with him. They deal with all the newcomer testing and evaluations. I'm just a simple monk trying to catch up on my sleep. That was a hint, by the way. Damn, chill, bro. But you have you must have some idea of where they were sequ uh where they were sequestering the newcomers, right? Again with the question <coughs> of the newcomers. Why do you care about the complexities of Altma bureaucracy? Still, if I had to make a guess, I'd say they were taking into the Undercroft for registration and processing. Now go away. <laughs> go away. Okay, whatever. Uh, anything else I should know about the monastery? The monastery should be a place of peace and meditation. The Aldoc has closed us down until further notice. That means if any of the monks spot you, they'll raise the alarm. Me? I never saw you. Now, if you don't mind, my nap awaits. Okay. He never saw us. <laughs> so basically, we gotta sneak. That is a dope ass freaking statue. Whoops. Me likey. Wait, where am I going? Um, I'm pretty sure I have to sneak around somewhere. But I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to be going exactly. Oh, it says above. How do I get above? Holy crap, that scared the hell out of me. How do I go up? Oh, there we go. Gotta be sneaky. I don't know why. They did say they were gonna raise the alarm. Although that one other player... Wow, what is this? Abyssal? Pearl? Well, knickknack for an all docs office, wouldn't you agree? Uh, I got caught. I noticed you skulking around while I was engaged in some skulking of my own. I suppose we both came to the monastery with a similar purpose in mind. <clears throat> and what purpose would that be exactly? The sequestered newcomers. I yeah, came to that's find it. out what happened to a friend. I assume that's what brought you here as well. A house of worship shouldn't be used as an internment camp. Agreed. It shouldn't be locked to the public either. Like, I'm not a very religious person myself, but I'm not against religion in the slightest. So, this needs to be a place of, like, worship, not a place for, like, concentration camps or internment camps or anything like that. You know what I mean? This place should just be for people to come and worship, and yet... They're adding a little bit of extra stuff in here, which is not right, in my opinion. Uh, I saw a pearl like that. Uh, there were strange creatures nearby. Did I? Oh, is that when we met Razumdar? Interesting. I've never seen anything quite like it. I find it intriguing and a bit disturbing. <clears throat> but we aren't here to discuss curios. Strange creatures notwithstanding. We need to find out what's happening with the missing newcomers. Okay. How did you happen to get past the sentry, by the way? The sentry doesn't appear to have stopped you, so I could ask you the same question. Magic! Let's just agree that we both have our methods. Curious, but I feel that there's more going on in Shimmerine than the usual politics and community relations. Uh, what else could be going on here? That's the question, my cautious friend. We have a newly appointed Aldark and a disgruntled kin lady, both opposed to the Queen's decree. What's their connection to the missing newcomers? I was about to explore the Undercroft. Care to join me? Yeah, sure, why not? I'll meet you at the uh, in the Undercroft then. This is honestly a little bit more... Pearl. I oh. wonder where the Aldark acquired it. Probably not important. I'll meet you in the Undercroft, and we can see what's going on with the newcomers. Fair enough. 
So the, yeah, they, what I was saying is like this was this is a lot more political than I first expected. Well, I didn't expect it to be political at all. Uh, it's like I said in the very beginning. Um, I've never actually paid attention. I went through all this story, but I've never actually paid attention to the story. I just kind of skipped right through it. And uh, yeah, I never knew that this was political. So people might be disagreeing with a few of my opinions, which is fine. Something's wrong down here. I sense magic. Vile magic. <coughs> ages. These people did nothing to deserve such treatment. There's someone alive over there. See if you can help her. Okay, I will, but I would just to finish my thought. Uh, since this seems to be very political in nature, uh, I'm probably going to say some things that are probably going to be disagreed upon by some people. That's 100% okay. If you want to chime in with your own thoughts, go ahead and do so. I have nothing, there's nothing that bothers me about having your own opinions. Just make sure it's civil in nature because if it starts to get hateful or you start spewing some, you know, ad hominems or anything like that, attacking character towards me or anybody else, um, I will have a problem with that. So just make sure if you guys want to chime in your own personal opinions, make sure it's civil in nature. That's all I wanted to say. So Minno and Tal I can't pronounce that. The divine, you are one of the monks. Please let me out of here. Why did they lock you in a cage? It's a nightmare. <clears throat> we came to Somerset to seek new opportunities. We barely stepped off the ship when they marched us to the monastery. <sighs> Instead of questioning us or the usual high elf bureaucracy, they locked us in these cages. Uh, there are only a few of you here. Where are the rest of the newcomers? The monks gathered them a few moments ago and took them through the door on the far side of the chamber. So we just missed Please, them. Please, let me out of here before they take me away like the others. Don't worry, I'll unlock the cage and see wh uh, what's going on in the next chamber. Is that a scoffin? What's a scoffin? Thank you for setting me free. Even if they did come for you, I would have protected you. Minoe or whatever your name is. Hey, she's letting this guy go. Good for you. <coughs> oh, she's a hero. Look at her go, dude. She's just releasing everybody. Meanwhile, all the dudes that she just released just ran away. <laughs> oh, this guy's injured. Hey, what's going on here? A Daedra? Here? And that's a Scoffin, if I remember my Daedric recitations correctly. Very curious. What's a dead Scoffin doing in a monastery devoted to the Eight? An excellent question, and one I hope to find the answer to. From the evidence before us, it appears this Nord killed the Scoffin before he succumbed to his own wounds. Good for him. I found this key on the creature's belt, so we can open that door. What's a scoffin? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh, that's where the prisoner said that the monks took the rest of the newcomers. Then I suggest we pick up the pace. We need to determine what's actually happening down here, and who's behind all this. Greed. Without answers to those questions, <clears throat> we won't be able to decide on our best course of action. What about your missing friend? I'll explain everything later. For now, we need to hurry. I think there's more to her than she's already told us. Undercroft Great Hall. Ooh, whoa. All newcomers. Unfortunately, the magic only affects those who have been prepared. But never fear. Your turn will come. Daedric cultists? Oh, Bastion's ready to- what the hell's going on here? <gasps> oh, I'm lagging a little bit. There's still more of them? What is going on? Who's shooting at me? Okay, let's just go down there and fight. Hold them off while I complete my spell. Don't worry, homegirl. I got you. Me and Bastion are the are the Come business in all of this. <coughs> What's up, homie? That's it? That's all they got? Come on. 
Come on. Let's talk outside. Why not talk in here? What happened to all the people? Did they die? That's pretty messed up if they did. Talk to me. Those poor people. They it died. It wasn't just about newcomers and opposing the Queen's decree. That was Daedric magic back there. I just wish we had arrived a few moments earlier. What happened to the pearl? Did you destroy it? I promised to explain what I know. I suppose <coughs> now is as good a time as any. I'm a member of the Sigic Order. Ah, there it Our is. The right master sent me to investigate a warning we received about a plot involving Somerset. My inquiries led me here. The Sigic Order? The Sigic Order is an ancient magical monastic society. We served as advisors to the rulers of Tamriel, but that was before we removed our island home from the world. Now this threat has drawn us back. But why are you involved in all this? I'm working with Razum Dar, one of the Queen's eyes. But what happened to the Pearl? An eye of the Queen? Interesting. I diffused the Daedric magic and transported <clears throat> the Pearl to Arteum, the Sigic Island for safekeeping and study. So we can learn more about it. But we can discuss this further once we get out of here. Okay, let's go. Interesting. We got the Sigic Order backing us now. Uh-oh. We got some more scoffins. That's what you get for being unaware. Am I even going the right way? I don't know where I'm going. So I went the wrong way completely. Okay. Hiya! yeah. Done zo. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your sacrifice. What? He didn't fall to his face. It's disgraceful. A part of me kind of wants to use a two-headed weapon. But there's no spammable that I like for this playstyle, you know? Why can't I hit him? What happened to him? Okay, Bastion's got him. <sighs> Too easy. Wait, where to? This way. Got it. Tracking. That's actually the exit. We've made it. Yeah, plus the daggers, the dual dual wielding uh, daggers has like a higher critical chance, I believe. Um, and it also has... Living on Arteum for a few centuries doesn't prepare you for physical activity. Let the Eye of the Queen know what we discovered, and I'll catch up with you later. Okay, we're really quick. Yeah, the, the dual wielding daggers also gives you the ability to heal a little bit too with this. Uh, where is it at? It says, uh, co five consecutive attacks that deal 965 bleed damage and heals you for 32% of the damage caused. So, it's, it's a pretty, I mean, it's not a great, it's not a good heal, but it helps with your survivability, you know? <sighs> so, we made it out. Razumdar, where you at? My, my, my boy, where you at? Oh, he's in here. How convenient that we've literally came out in the build basically right under the building that we're supposed to be at okay um it says above okay i was about to say how do i get up there <clears throat> razumdar my friend how are you doing ah this one's new partner returns what interesting scandal did you uncover in the monastery tell raz every juicy detail well, this is actually definitely very juicy, Razumdar. The people that were sequestered were killed to power a Daedric ritual, believe it or not. Here, I found this letter. That isn't <sighs> the kind of scandal Raz was hoping for. Murder 
daedric rituals and traitorous behavior have a way of ruining an otherwise perfect day. We need to learn the extent of the Keen Lady's involvement. And by we, Raz means you. Of, of course. First of all, what did you mean by hoping for? But okay, I'm not going to dwell on that. You want me to go and accuse the Kin Lady of conspiring with the Daedric cult? Accuse? Not exactly. Raz wants you to talk to her. See what she knows about the Oldar. The Kin Lady is meeting with local leaders. Attend that meeting and learn the truth. This invitation and set of elegant clothes will get you through the door. Uh, interestingly enough, I also met a mage from the Sijic Order on the, in the monastery. A Sijic? <coughs> Raz has heard rumors, but there are always rumors about the Sijics. For an island of sages who disappeared more than 300 years ago, they certainly seem to gather out. Did this Sijic mage say what the Order was investigating? Something about a warning. And said, uh, and she seemed, uh... Pretty interested in the life-sucking pearl. There was a life-sucking pearl. You should probably have led with that bit of information. Well, we can worry about the Sijic mage and figure out where these pearls came from later. For now, go see what the kin lady has to say. Okay, but shouldn't you speak to the kin lady? You work for the king, a uh, queen, after all. Kin lady Avenis and Raz. Do not get along. You see, there was a horse, a platter of pudding tarts, and... Uh, no, no, no. This one won't bore you with the sordid details. Besides, everyone behaves well when they see Raz. You will learn more than I would. Uh... Okay. I bet that was an interesting story that we didn't get to hear. <coughs> So now we gotta go attend the kin lady's meeting, which is here in the city as well. Luckily enough, ha! Wait, use elegant clothing. I gotta make sure I get dressed. Look at me. That's literally the way rest outfit or whatever. Just in a different color. Instead of being blue, it's green. I think it's a crown shop item. Hey. Yes. And so what else? You be? Uh, I need to speak to Kin Lady and this. The Kin Lady is currently engaged. She's holding a conference with Shimmering's elite to discuss certain political matters. Makes sense. I have an invitation, though. Hmm. Yes. So you do. And may I say that your outfit is suitably elegant. Uh, please, head into the garden. Thank you, thank you. Haha! -ha. Kind, kind gentlemen. We all have concerns regarding Ooh. the Queen's decree. I assure you that I am working with all Dark Takala to safeguard the sanctity of Shimmerin and all of Somerset. Enjoy the food and drink. Business of the city requires my attention, but I shall rejoin you shortly. There's like nobody here. There's one person. Who are you? Oh, Aldrich. How bold of you. The Nebarad Not dares bold. to stand in my holy presence. Very well, bold Nebarad. What can the new old dark of Shimmerine do for you? And please, try not to bore me or spray any spittle on my spotless vestments. Uh, I think I said Aldrich. It's all dark. But anyways... I hear that you and the kin lady have a plan for administering the queen's, the queen's decree. <clears throat> you heard that somewhere, did you? I did. I have ears. <laughs> I'll have to have a discussion with the divine prosecution about how lax our security has become. No, no, I jest. The kin lady and I have nothing but the best interests of Somerset and the newcomers in mind. Uh, is that why you sequestered newcomers and... Other non-high elf uh, beneath the monastery? You really are well informed about things here in Shimmerin, aren't you? For a Nebara. You keep calling me Nebara. What does that mean? <laughs> You're right. Where are my manners? Using a word you couldn't possibly be expected to understand. 
It means unwelcome. As in, you are not welcome here. I see. And is it common for High Elf monks to conspire with Daedra? That's a serious accusation to toss around so casually. What did you say your name was again? I want to make sure to add it to the Divine Prosecution's observation log. Of course. For your own protection, you understand. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, if you'll excuse me, Aldar told you, I just remembered, I have some place to be. I suddenly remembered some business I need to deal with as well. Feel free to pester the other guests in my absence. Interesting. That guy is a real piece of work, isn't he? Kin late. Where is she? Above. Okay. Is it still above from here? It absolutely is. I'm assuming it's in her bedroom. Dare you barge into my home without so much as a by your leave? A, a what? No. I refuse to deal with one of the Queen's guests, especially not in my own home. How did you get in here, by the way? No, never mind that. Since you found your way in, I assume you can find your way back out before I call the guards. I've always liked this outfit. Ever since, I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, the the lady, uh, uh what, what was her name? Arianway or something or whatever from the very, very, very beginning of the game when you're still in the dungeon trying to make your way out or whatever. Pretty sure she wears this outfit as well. I've always liked this outfit for a female high elf. Uh, or just in general, but part uh, specifically on the high elves. Um, why do you oppose the Queen's Decree? <laughs> <laughs> Such innocence. You really want to know why I oppose the Queen's order to allow newcomers to enter Somerset? Because I'm trying to protect both the island and the newcomers. It's in everyone's best interest that we maintain a separation. Why? And the all uh, all dark. I keep wanting to say Aldridge. The all dark agrees with your efforts to protect the island and the newcomers. <clears throat> all dark Tilkala came highly recommended. He has grand plans for protecting Shimmerine. Grand plans. Unfortunately, in my haste to deal with the Queen's decree, I may have made an error in judgment. What do you mean an error in judgment? Not that it's any concern of yours. But my Chancellor has been unable to verify <coughs> the Old Duck's existence prior to when we met. And I recommended him for the position at the Monastery. I assure you, Kin Lord Millenthal praised Tilkala to no end. Hmm. And you were aware that the Old Duck's monks are killing the newcomers under the Monastery? That's preposterous. Aldark Takala sequesters the newcomers to ascertain their suitability for life in Somerset. Those who pass will find a place here. As for the rest, they'll be returned to wherever they came from. That's what we agreed to. Yeah, that's not what's happening. Not at all, actually. It sounds like you should uh, see for yourself what's happening in, at the monastery. My lady, one of the monks said to deliver this message. It's from the Aldark himself. The Coral Forest. An odd location for a meeting, but I need to hear the old dark's explanation. He's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill her. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong, but why else would they want him why would I, why else would he want to meet in the middle of nowhere, essentially? In the middle of the forest, I think she said. Hey, what's up my friend? Hi. Pretend you are adjusting your boot, or admiring the architecture. As hard as it may be, look anywhere but directly at Raz. Good, good. Now, tell Raz what you learned at the Kin Lady's Manor. Yeah, the Kin Lady believes the newcomers are being sequestered and sending and being sent away. Hmm. Raz thinks Avanis is as naive as she is complicit, but she is not a murderer. She's still complicit, this though. This new old dark, though, has so much blood on his hands, it looks like he's wearing red gloves. <clears throat> From what I could discover, he didn't exist before he came to Shimarin. I overheard that the kin lady was going to meet the Altrich, the Aldark, uh, in the Coral Forest. 
The coral forest. <coughs> a strange meeting place. Raz thinks we should go and see what the old Ark is up to. After I take back that outfit, I might need it again later. Fair enough. Ah, you have a pretty admirer, my friend. The Sijic Sage, yes? Here she comes now. What? Let's find out what Valisri has to say. Wait, where's she at? Oh, there she is. I'm glad I found you. While watching the King Lady's mansion, I saw her ladyship sneak off the back and leave the city. The King Lady is meeting the Old Dark in the Coral Forest. Raz smells something, and it isn't moon sugar biscuits. Sorry, I forgot to shower. Your reputation precedes you, Eye of the Queen. I am Valserin of the Sijic Order, and I agree that the Aldark is more than a simple monk. We should work together, yes, but let's travel separately to avoid attracting unwanted attention. Raz will find you both at the Coral Forest. Well, that was dope. She just completely disappeared. Where is the Coral Forest? Just it's, it's literally just south of the city. Okay, so south of south of the city. Okay, tracking. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. This city may be beautiful, but I get turned around here a little bit sometimes. Not very often, but I do. Yeah, screw it. That hurt. Let me take this outfit off. Wait, how do I take it off? Okay, we'll take it off later. <clears throat> Again, I apologize for my throat. All this talking is really making my throat a little raspy. So it might not be a very long video. I might only do like one quest and call it a day for today, but just to let my throat rest a little, you know? Ooh, another Sijic portal. Don't mind me. Okay. Hello. One of Somerset's more unique environments, the Coral Forest. I used to love coming here when I was growing up. We need to find out why the Aldark asked Kin Lady Avenise to meet him out here. Um, how do we find the Aldark and the Kin Lady? Based on what we saw in the monastery's undercroft, I'm hesitant to use magic to locate them. I suppose we'll have to find them through mundane means. Too bad the Queen's spy isn't here yet. I understand he's good at this sort of thing. Okay. Um, I guess we go in this direction. <coughs> Try to avoid combat. Yeah, these things look really cool. Uh-oh. Can we get all the way there without seeing combat? Doubt it? You know nothing of the plan, you fool. Let me give you a taste of what the Prince of Bargains has in store for this. Oh my god, Klavik is vile! Your Prince, I want no part of Daedra. Where are they? Yo, Loki, I have no idea where they are. Am I? Oh, right there. I'm too late, am I? Earl of Clavicus Vile, I knew it! <sighs> that was easy. Abyssal Pearl destroy. So she survived. Right? There she, well, no, that's what's her name. Razumdar <coughs> apprehended the kin lady. Good. They're at the west edge of the coral forest. What happened to Aldark Tilkalar? Did he escape? Uh, Aldark Tilkalar is dead. I heard him mention the Prince of Bargains. I think we can conclude that Tilkalar wasn't actually an Aldark. 
No. At least not with his connection to the Prince of Bargain's Clavicus Vile. Strange magic and creatures worry me, however. Hopefully the pearl I sent to Arteum can tell us more. You think you can learn something about the, uh, from the pearl? You'd be surprised what a particular object can reveal if you know how to unlock its secrets. I need to return and tell Rightmaster Ikesis all that transpired here. If you're willing, I'd like you to come to Arteum and confirm my story. Who's the Rightmaster? Uh, who's Rightmaster I, I, I cop uh, that? The Rightmaster leads the Sigic Order from Kapora Tower on the island of Arteum. This spell attunes you to a portal near Shimmerine in the ruins of the Keep of Eleven Forces. It always leads to Arteum, no matter the island's current location. Okay, I'll go to Arteum and talk to the right master after I check in with Razamdar. One more adjustment <sighs> and there, you are now attuned. Hey! Find me on Arteum after you finish with the Eye of the Queen. Good, I will. Thank you. Where's Razumdar? Ah, hey, there she is. Five claw. Yes. The King Lady and Raz had the most illuminating conversation. Really? You can't treat me like some sort of criminal, you horrid creature. He's literally like face palming right now. Queen Irene will be disappointed that the King Lady of Shimmerine allowed a false Aldar to murder so many newcomers. Such a scandal makes other travelers uneasy about coming here, yes? Yeah, the Aldar called on uh, the Prince of Bargains before I killed him. The Prince of Bargains? That could only be Clavicus Vile. Clearly. What oblivion-inspired nest of vipers has Raz stumbled into? This one has a very bad feeling about all of this. Where is the Sigic Sage? Raz would like to ask her what she thinks. Uh, she returned to Arteum. She invited me to come speak to her, uh, the right master, actually. The Sigic Order's interest in all of this concerns Raz Udar. This one has never had much love <coughs> or those that practice the art. On the other hand, now Raz has his own person on the inside. An eye of Raz, if you will, yes? Um, no. But okay. Uh, she said that the Order would try to find out more about Aldark and the Abyssal Pearls. Then you must go to Arteum and discover what the Sijiks have learned. When you return, you can tell Raz all about it so he can pass it along to the Queen. Fair enough. Yes, Raz likes this plan. In the meantime, Raz will investigate the Daedric connection. Sounds good. Goodbye. To be fair to her, though, she is complicit. Does she deserve, like, execution? Probably not. She was in the dark of the actual negative effects of everything. Should she be punished? Absolutely. But where that punishment lies... I don't know, I guess it's up to the Queen to, to decide, but I don't think she deserves over-the-top punishment, if you will. That was for the other dude that we already killed, but she's still complicit, though, so, yeah. <clears throat> Have you come to gloat? To kick me while I wallow in my own misery? Well, go ahead. I deserve it. How did you get involved with our do uh, the Aldar Tillcaller? I met him at Kinlord Millenthal's party in Eleanor. We had similar ideas about the Queen's decree, and I recommended that he lead the monastery. Somerset isn't a stew pot, and the various races aren't ingredients to be sprinkled in like so much spice. So you knew he planned to kill the newcomers. What a hateful <sighs> accusation. Tilkala told me he was going to send them back where they came from. I had no idea he planned to kill them. I give you my word. I just wanted the newcomers to go away. And to find out he worshipped Daedra? How crude. Do all the monks at the monastery worship Daedra? I certainly <sighs> hope not. We'll have to get the divine prosecution in there to gather up the monks Tilkala brought with him to Shimmerine. We can't have Daedra cultists desecrating a holy site. I suppose I need to beg for mercy from the proxy queen. Yeah, for real. I mean, that would probably be for the best. 
No, no kind words? Okay. Wait, where am I going? Travel to Arteum. First things first, let's discover... What? Well, let's discover this. Can I... So I'm assuming... Let me see if there's an actual way to get there from here. So there's like a portal or something. I want to do this the right way, not just take the way shrine. So Ugh, I want to see what happens. I'm not going to discover that just yet. For now, I want to go straight over here. Because we are going to our TAM. How far am I? I'm really not that far. The problem with it, though, is that... Oh, God. I'm stuck. Is that, uh... There's a lot of mountains in Somerset, and although it's gorgeous to see, it can be a little weird to navigate occasionally. You don't see nothing. He saw something. Uh-oh. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. <sighs> don't worry about it, Bastion. Just stay, stay with me, buddy. Come on. How do I take this freaking outfit off? I got an idea. If I do, uh, this, there we go, that works. I did not want to stay with that outfit. I want to look like my cool self again. How do I get in there? Haha! -ha. Oh yeah, I remember this. Hiya! Portal to Artaeum. <laughs> Vanis Galarian used to be from here. I know. This place is beautiful, huh, Bastion? So where are we going? We have to talk to Right Master Ichi... 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 I... Sure. I'm horrible at pronunciation of names, by the way, if it's not already obvious. The good thing is that the way shrine is officially discovered, so I don't have to do anything here. Let's just go. Oh, hello. And there was no sign of Lathan. I don't know whether to be grateful or concerned. We'll find him, Val. Now go check on the pearl while I speak to our new guest. Well, hello, Mr. Rightmaster. Well, the rare honor Valserin bestowed upon you. Only a select few not of our order have ever walked upon this sacred island. Val tells me your aid was indispensable in uncovering the false Aldark's plot on Somerset. Oh. My. God. It's Doctor Strange. Uh, we discovered the newcomers to Somerset, uh, where they were being murdered to power the Abysmal Pearls. Abyssal Pearls. Unfortunate, certainly. <clears throat> the magic you describe sounds familiar, though I can't quite recall where I've heard of it before. I fear the pearls may be a harbinger of the threat Sotha Seal warned us about. Sotha Seal? What threat? I don't understand. Sotha Seal, one of the living gods of the Dark Elf. I met him. He's an honorary member of our order. After an attack on his clockwork city, he warned us about a Daedric threat to Somerset and Arteum. I sent Valserin to investigate. Wait, so after the whole situation that we uncovered on clockwork? They oh that's actually pretty interesting. He Sothasil came to the Sigix and essentially made a pact. Kind of. Okay, whatever. Uh is there anything more I could do to help? Indeed. <clears throat> but not until we finish studying the pearl Valserin brought us. There are mysteries to unravel, and Val believes you will be instrumental to our success. We can get started immediately. Unless you want to explore our island first. This duration is increased with each rank of the restoration staff. Passive, uh, passive of essence drain when using a restoration staff. That's kind of interesting, actually. Involves a for a healer, examination of the strange pearl you and Valserin recovered from beneath the Shimmerine Monastery. Hopefully, we can learn more about the false Aldark and the source of the pearl's magic. You can use magic to get the pearl to reveal all that. We are the Sigic Order, friend of Valserin. 
There is very little we cannot accomplish through the application of the old ways. Every object remembers its history. The trick involves selecting the correct ritual to reveal those buried memories. Can I do anything to help? While I head inside to begin the augury ritual, I'd like you to go to Sotha Seal's study in the tower, find my acolyte, Oriandra, and ask her for Sotha Seal's amplification elixir. We may need it if the pearl proves to be resistant to our magic. All right, I'll help. I'll find or whatever and the amplifier elixir. So we are officially going to go to Sothasil's study, which is kind of interesting because after everything we went through in in uh, Clockwork, I guess they made such a good uh, he made such a good impact here with the Sigix that he got his own place, his own study. That's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and go to that place.